Hello everyone, Sam is here from creativetradingsystem.com uh, making this video again about gold and uh, uh, as a part two of my yesterday's video which also uh, I intend to show uh, or, or explain my uh, setup, uh, entry setup, right? So uh, I, I forgot one thing to say uh, or mention there and uh, that's the question came in that if uh, uh, we open like maybe 12 to 15 uh, different pairs and instrument like oil, gold and all of that, then how are we supposed to uh, know that there is a setup or do we have to sit in front of the computer and just uh, keep watching constantly all these 20 minute charts? So, well, that's not a good idea, right? So uh, remember yesterday I, I did the analogy of, you know, buying the house and uh, just like for, you know, applying a loan with the conditions, right? Uh, you know, you, you have to have a proof of a job and then, you know, a, a proof of income and then uh, credit, good credit and then money in the bank and then property appraisal, right? Just like I have four conditions for my setup, yellow line condition, then same high-low condition, then price uh, making a higher low, uh, a lower high, and then uh, the reversal candle, all mentioned in my yesterday's video, so you can look at it, right? So now, <clears throat> excuse me, so once um, you open like 5 minute, 20 minute, 5 minute, 20 minute, of maybe 12 to 15 uh, different instruments, right? Seven, maybe six, seven uh, 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 frank, uh, uh, pairs, uh, forex pairs and then oil and gold and then S&P 500, NASDAQ and all of that. And then what you do is that on 20 minute chart, for example, this is 20 minute chart of gold, right? So uh, what I will do is that I will uh, put this uh, EA here. I, I created an EA, expert advisor, uh, and it is an alarm. So when th this alarm has four, all these four conditions that I mentioned that uh, are part of my setup, right? One, two, three, four, they are all combined in that E. So once the all the four all four conditions are there or exist at the same time, the alarm start beeping. That's the idea. So the, for example, here this one, see, yellow is below the black, black is below the white, and then this is um, uh, uh, price of making a lower, oh, excuse me, lower high, and this indicates all the way to the upside, right? Uh, turning to the downside. And then you have a reversal candle and a red candle, boom, that's it. So the alarm will beep. Now, the, when the alarm beep, you can come in and then take a look at this weekly chart that where uh, this pair is supposed to, you know, usually is going. If it is a long trade, I mean a long trend, then you might want to think that, you know, okay, this is a short setup, so I'm going against the trend. Is it worth it or not? You know, that is the decision that you need to make. Uh, and then you open the trade at will. Uh, a lot for long trade, for example, this one, this one, this one, this one, all of these, the alarm will be right. Uh, so, this is how easy it is. It becomes very easy now that you open 10, 15 trades, uh, I mean, pairs, right, and put the alarm, and then you can go off and then do whatever you want to do, <clears throat> different chores around the house, watch TV, sleep, whatever. When there's a setup, the alarm will beep, and then you come and take the trade, right. So, this is how <clears throat> you do it with the alarm here. I have another year that is uh, for sale separately, and that opens the trade that is based on this year exactly. Instead of this, uh, the beeping that that year uh, beeps as well as open the trade, and then place the SL and TP and all of that. Right, so that's a separate story. So I hope that I clarified that you yeah, know you don't have to sit down and you know stick to the uh, <coughs> like a glue to the screen uh, and. Uh, watch these charts, but you can just uh, open the charts, put the EA on, alarm EA, and move around the house or whatever, do whatever, right? Uh, even you go to sleep, but make sure that the sound of your computer is open, right? <clears throat> it's high so that when the alarm beep, you can hear, right? So this is it. I uh, just wanted to show and uh, clarify that. Uh, as well as that, uh, let's go take a look at the goal again. What the heck is happening? So uh, you already saw those charts uh, yesterday. If not, then just watch the video yesterday uh, I made. But the goal, so this was the idea that it was going to the upside. I had long all along. So this one I took from here and all the way there. Another one here. Let me show you. This chart turns into this, right? And then doing so, I had this straight long one. 
to the, uh, to the upside and another one here, although we're going to that target, right? Then I said, this thing is gonna drop over four. So I had a couple of short based on this. This is like a contract I was talking about that this is the setup, right? Once you have the setup, then you open the trade based on the 20 minute setup. This is the setup. It's like a uh, uh, harmonic pattern, and yet we have count on all of that on a 40 minute chart or a uh, weekly chart, right? It is for the direction. The set, this setup means that, um, uh, uh, like the pattern setup, so the Elliott wave and harmonic patterns, that 20 minute setup means the entry setup that need four conditions in place. Okay. So this is the setup that is going to drop for wave four. And look what happened to this one. Boom. Came down and I had coming down, I had two trades. One, the E opened from all the way from the top, all the way down here. The second one from here. Then I said, okay, that's done. And then now it's going to go up for wave five, right? Again, this is a, like a contract between buyer and seller. Once you have a contract, you apply for a loan and wait for the approval, right? So this is the same thing. You have a contract here, you have a setup. Then we wait for our entry setup from 20-minute chart or sometimes seven-minute chart. And I'll explain the seven-minute chart later on. It's like a scalping technique, but mostly 20-minute chart, right? <laughs> so I waited and boom, this went like this exactly to the target see that little higher than this wave three and then if you put the fib expansion 50 percent hit little higher than wave three from there on as soon as it hit the target it start to drop but in the meantime <laughs> going to the upside i had this straight this is the entry and this end up all the way like this this was the entry i had to shrink the chart just to show the entry so 2237 to 22 75. Another one, after hitting the entry, I mean, sorry, the target, the price dropped and then start to go up again. And I made another entry, which is this, this morning. <clears throat> and it is from the 100 brick size, uh, no, smaller time frame. Uh, so it was going, now this one, EA didn't open. It backfired. Backfire means, you know, I think I thought it wasn't there. I, was, I wasn't paying attention to this uh, 100 box size chart. But it wasn't there actually. I put it back on later on. But I opened the trade manually here. I said if I wait, it may not go. But so this was a nice setup there, and it's supposed to be opening here. And uh, I missed the entry. Uh, I forgot to put the E on there, and it didn't open the trade. So I opened manually, and then when it went up, I uh, moved my SL. So this is from twenty-two sixty-two to twenty-two seventy-one. So see, this is how easy it is. Now uh, I don't know where, where the heck this gold is gonna go now. Right on my 40 minute chart right now, it's like this. So, see, this is the target for wave five. It hit where is it? Okay, and then it dropped and then it started to go up. But I think that it may drop even more. So, uh, right now, it's uh, you know, three o'clock volume time is gone. So, I'm not gonna bother. I have you know, yesterday, beautiful trade all the way, and then another short here, right? And I have a bunch of other trades, by the way. You know, don't get me wrong that I'm trading only gold. No, I have other trades. Right? And uh, very good uh, S&P 500, big drop. Uh, by the way, the the, um, uh, the indices are about to flip. Uh, be ready where the heck they are. Here. So I just had a, a very, very nice. I missed the uh, entry, beautiful entry uh, in NASDAQ. But um, uh, S&P 500, my EA opened the trade there, a big one. So see this one, the DAX turning to the downside. And this is the chart I made on the 23rd. Uh, these are the setups. These are the contracts, the setups on a weekly chart. S&P 500, look what happened. See that? I made this chart on 23rd, and now it's making a turn. It went up again, touching the, the, the one more time, this area. And this, you see this black candle? I have a huge trade today. Uh, and dropping this one. Let me show you if I have it uh, right here somewhere quickly. That um, And then hit my EA, open that trade. Where the heck it is? Okay, here. Uh, see that? It was making a turn and then shoom, gone down all the way from 50 to 33 to all the way here, 5188. So this is how it is. And then another one that the set, setting up NASDAQ, NASDAQ, NASDAQ baby is here. You see that? It's coming down now. This is the chart I made 23rd March, by the way. And right now, you know, it's like almost two, you know, second week. The one week is gone, the second week. 
So finally, it, it wobbled here a little bit, but now it's making a turn to the downside. So what happened is that these uh, charts, the entry charts, have different box sizes. These are not same as Forex. Uh, gold and oil have same but different box sizes. So I have I made another year for them uh, with those settings. Uh, these uh, have different settings. NASDAQ has different, US 30 has different, uh, DAX is different, and S&P 500 different. So whoever sign up that, you know, uh, if you're interested in trading these, you ask me and I, I'll tell you all those settings and how to uh, fix that alarm E. And then when whenever you have the, uh, the, the entry set up, made, and, you know, the alarm will beep and you can just take the trade. Right. So that is uh, the question that came and uh, says, oops, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> Obviously, it's not a good idea to sit in front of the computer watching 10, 15 pairs all the time when the setup is going to be right. So there has to be something. So, yes, the alarm is there. You don't have to do anything. Just open the trade. Uh, I mean, open the, the, uh, the chart. Uh, your computer, MT4, uh, set up the charts, refresh the charts and uh, put the alarm on and then relax. That's it. Watch TV or do whatever, or do your your analysis in different things, right? I'm always doing something, and uh, whenever it is, let me see if uh, the 40 minute chart probably is beeping something. Here we go. See that? Uh, it is. You see, it's changing. The numbers changing. Uh, let me raise the sound. Maybe you can hear that. What the heck happened to sound? Oh, all right. I think I have the sound shut off. Let me just. You see that? You you probably hear, oh, come on, man, come in. You see that? This is beeping. This is the alarm. And, and, and what it is telling me that is Aussie Yen has a 40-minute long setup. So I'll go to Aussie Yen, and then I'll see the, where the heck that long setup, how, or what kind of long setup I have. Uh, this is Aussie USD. Bro. Where is Aussie Yen? Here. Uh, here, right. So this is how it is. So it is making the you know beep because it has a reversal candle and the blue candle. So as soon as you have a reversal candle, it beeps. It has different conditions, but it is an alarm. It, uh, it alarms. Uh, it gives me a notice that there is a setup. Get ready. Look for twenty minute setup. That's how it is. All right. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the trading week.